Hello, welcome to Code for Domi. I am Taufik, and today I'll be having a little play around with uh, the ChatGPT uh, uh, OpenAI application that is new on the block. Let's see what I can make out of it. So, I open my PyCharm app application. I, I create my project ChatGPT. Then I went to this uh, URL here, splash dot on splash dot com. I downloaded pictures containing um quotes inspirational quotes so i downloaded about um 50 or more of them and after downloading i save them into a file folder in my system on the img folder um then i went to my um uh, my code editor then i installed django after that it took about a minute to install and after that i prepped it open uh, django admin i started the project i called it chat g p t after that i you know went ahead to the chat gpt and prompt open my command i wrote my command there to you know just basically write uh, a request that actually you know select random pictures and bring it out in index.html because it's run and it gives me some uh, result uh, like this first one here was for me to you know put it in my views uh, in my project so I copied it I created a views you know f folder and I I pasted the code there so then I went ahead continue you know studying you know what the activity gave to me then I saw uh, the HTML template I'm supposed to use, so I copied it. Then I went to my um, root level directory. I created a folder known as template, and under folder index.html. So I paste the code I copied from the chat GPT. Then I see the chat GPT something saying something about you know configuration of our static files. So first I went, I created. Um, the static folder in my project level directory i created the img folder then i copied all the pictures and uh, inspirational picture i downloaded and i pasted them there and after that i went to the static uh, settings.py to configure my static file and basically uh, configure the uh, template file too so i configured the template i wrote the template has directory for the templates and i also run the code I collected static actually so collect static it was not working really well what could be the problem then I you know change you know the settings of the was the static file configuration that the GPT gave to me I made some adjustment to it and still having issues and yeah now it works so uh, the configuration is done and after that i copied the code that i'm supposed to paste in my urs.py just like this documentation says so i went to urs.py and i paste the code there so i made some arrangements to it and made the arrangement i you know configure the file part after that, I went to the documentation and since that's all ChatGPT gave to me, so I was like, okay, let me run the code and see what, you know, this comes up with. So I ran the code and it ran to an error, a name error. So there's a settings, you know, uh, library that was used in the views.py and was not installed. So ChatGPT used, you know, a settings and then installed. So I installed it for for ChatGPT. So after installing it, I ran the code again, and I will run to another error. We use static files, you know, for our uh, index.html. And if you're using that, you're supposed to write low static on top of your HTML template. So uh, ChatGPT uh, did not tell me that, so I, I did it myself. Then I decided to, you know, run the server again and see what we have. And finally it's working it's working it's looking amazing uh, but I mean it's looking really big now 
know the styling is poor and i don't like that you know title on top so i remove the h1 tag i refresh it and it's looking okay so now i want to you know write some css to it but i don't want to write so i you know instructed this chat gpt to write me some css for this so let's see some css to just you know style it and make it look good so i just copied the style there at the header and i copied it and i pasted it in the header of my uh, project and i you know refresh it now it's looking nice see every time you refresh the page it comes with another inspirational quote images and that's basically the idea behind the project thank you so much for uh watching this uh please you know subscribe you know like and leave all the good stuff uh, you can see how chat gpt can be very handy in making project is chat gpt really smart yes i think it's smart is chat gpt really really smart yeah they are really smart but can chat gpt take away your job uh maybe not when well, on light hello thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you